Hi, it's Alina Wilson here at Eximate Mastery. And today I want to talk about cabinets in Sketch. This question has come up a few times. So I want to go ahead and address it as I don't think I've talked about this on my channel. So there's a couple of ways to add cabinets in Sketch and a couple of different options. So let's go take a look at how to do that and what you can do to save some time when adding the cabinet line items to your estimate. So I'm over here in Sketch and I've already actually built out some of these reference blocks for you. That's what these are all called. That's why they say block one, two, three, four, five. If we look at this in 3D, you can see I've got the lower base cabinets, the upper cabinet. I also created a broom closet over here, just as an example. And then I'll address these in just a second. So to create the reference block, all you need to do is go ahead and use the block tool. So I'm going to erase those blocks for now you're going to go to your toolbar there and grab the block and i like to create it out in the room because what i've seen uh, tends to happen is that these blocks don't like to go into the corner sometimes they don't even like to attach to a wall until they're created first then i can move them back it's just a strange glitch that i've encountered in the past so i've taught myself to do that and then when I've got it in the corner, then I can resize it and make it exactly how I want once it's into that corner. So that's how you create a reference block. Really simple and easy to get the base cabinets or vanity created here. You can do this in the bathroom. Now you can also use this for like a fireplace with a chimney. You could do use reference blocks to represent that. Um, you also can create upper cabinets. So I'm going to use that block again. And uh, we're going to go for one foot six here, just as an example for today. And we're going to place that above the block here. So all blocks have properties. I'm going to go into the properties of that block and I'm going to make the distance from four. Let's go four foot six just for fun. And I can move that block over the existing block and resize it. Maybe we want it to go the whole way. That's fine. And look at that in 3D. So now you have your upper cabinets as well. All looking good, ready to go. However, we've created blocks, but we haven't assigned any properties to them. So right now, these are just blocks sitting here waiting for us to do something with them. So if you go to the properties of the block, you can do a bunch of activities, actually. You can remove the square footage behind the cabinet. So if you're painting the whole room but don't want to paint behind the cabinet, no problem. If you want to remove the square footage underneath, so you're laying down tile in the kitchen, but you don't want it to roll underneath that base cabinet, remove the area below. You can also cut the uh, vinyl below. So this is vinyl in the kitchen. You also can create a block that looks like this guy over here, where it goes to the ceiling. So that was pretty easy to create. Again, I like to create it in the middle of the room because sometimes there's an error that comes up if I try to put it in the corner first. So we'll make this two foot. And we'll go ahead and pull that in here using that little diamond next to the block name. Go to the properties and it says here the height. So I know that I have eight foot ceiling. So if I want this to go from three foot all the way up to eight foot to fill in that gap there, we can then make it go all the way to the ceiling. So they're pretty versatile, these little blocks. And then I can remove this ceiling linear foot or the uh, square foot of the ceiling, you know, above if needed, that can all be affected by the property. You can paint these blocks, you can attach line items to these blocks, you can do all kinds of fun things. However, if you're going to actually add the cabinets like I did here in Xactimate, let me go and delete those off and I'll show you how I did that. You can go search for, uh, uh, let's start with the lower, lower cabinets. And we can grab that. It already adds a block to our cursor. See that? I can tab around here and actually place that and then resize it. And it's actually going to key off my dimensions to tell me how many linear foot of cabinets I need. So you don't have to create a block and then attach a cabinet. The cabinets come in with the blocks already attached so that I can then, all I need to do is set the properties of what I want to do with the square footage above or behind or, or what have you. So looking at that in 3D, there you can see 
that they've preset the blocks for you, which is really cool. And of course you can resize the block if needed. Different thoughts here on, on when you want to do that or not. But anyhow, you get the idea. We can go ahead and add the cabinets as we're adding the blocks by searching for the line item, which is really cool. So these blocks over here, of course, no line items are attached yet. I just set them on their own. But when you search for a line item and drop it in, it builds the block for you. Amazing time saver. Just love what they've set up here. Now I can also do the same thing with the vanity. It'll bring in a block and it's a beautiful thing. I hope you found that useful and go try the blocks for yourself. Go try adding a chimney or a fireplace or maybe some cabinets to a room just to get a feel for it. But I think they're really fun and they could save us a lot of time. Otherwise, we'd have to perform a calculation of what we needed the square footage removed behind, above, below. We'd have to be in each line item. It could get really messy. Whereas here, we turn it to remove the square footage, yes, and it will apply it to any line items that would go on the wall or the floor or baseboard or what have you. So really a time saver if you know how to use them correctly. So go try those out for yourself. Again, my name is Alina Wilson with Xmate Mastery and I train contractors how to master Xmate to save time and make sure you're profitable. If you'd like more information on what I do, go to xmatemastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.